Yep. Welcome to the final Doc Robot part. On to the Needle Man stage. Revisited. It's pretty much obvious that the last two bosses we'll be fighting will be Air Man and Crash Man. Is there anyone's left? Porcupines are back. Kill him with the laser beam. Oh, look at the little prickly needles. Bye bye, prickly needles. Those are pretty big needles. Yeah. Those are colors. Could you just imagine a sewing machine that would require those things? Yeah. And the and the uh, person who's probably um, running it would be a would probably be the uh, the fifty foot tall woman, <laughs> the attack of the hundred foot woman, or or whatever it was called, you know, one of those weird B horror movies that were basically jokes. Yeah. <laughs> All right, time for another energy tank. I don't think you had to use any of them. Now, how many do I actually have? You got six. I have six. Think you can beat Wally with that? Oh, I think I can. Alright. Now, Met or Air can be defeated with either the Magnet Missile or the Spark Shock. I prefer using Spark Shock, but for um, educational purposes, I will use both. And that's why we like to do this, is to give people an idea of the options they have. To make this game easy. Like I said, because if you don't know what weapon to use on a boss, we can't stress that enough. It's beatable, but it's going to kick your behind. <laughs> and let's put it lightly. Developers designed this game and for players to figure out. And here's another ones. here's another little strategy I like to do in Mega Man sometimes. If I know I'm going to be doing something, like what I'm about to do is the rush jet, but I have a little bit of life, I will sacrifice a life so I have full health. Yep. That's all strategy. Yep. That's a strategy. So the thing about with Mega Man is, if you know it's better to die, then die. I know that sounds weird, but trust me. Trust it. J just trust these words from a veteran. Josh may be a veteran of uh, the um, U.S. Um, services, military services. Well, I'm a veteran of Mega Man. Like I said, if you're the one that's got me into collecting games, you know. When I was with this guy, heck, just about five, six years ago, uh, he used to go to like, these old French game stores. And I was like, why are you collecting these old games that we have from our childhood? You know, no one collects these old games anymore. It's like phenomenal. Everybody on eBay is going to games. Well, hey, that just happened. The NES is so fun to collect for because they have so many unlicensed games. They had all kinds of crazy stuff. Like, yeah, it's just fun. I mean, I, it, I mean, there, there's just a lot of love in the original Nintendo. And you can pick this collection up if you want all of them. If you can't afford to buy, pay, pay, you know, whatever they're asking for on eBay for each individual game, Mega Man One through Six. Yeah, I believe that would be pretty expensive. I actually have the original copies of each of the original uh, six Mega Man games, so I can play them on my original Nintendo. I can play them on the Anniversary Collection. Um, I actually had the first three on my Wii Virtual Console, so... A lot of times people, or collectors, like to do that because, you know, that way you know, it's just convenience. It's like, oh, no big deal, we'll just play it on this or play it on that, I have both versions. Yes, yeah, it's, it's, just, it's just for convenience. And Crash Man can either be taken down with either the Top Spin or the Hard Knuckle. It's better to use the Hard Knuckle because it only requires four shots. Versus seven shots with the top spin. That was pretty easy, man. Yep. Well, that, uh, well, we're going to do one more level in this uh, part. We may be finished with the Doc Robot stages, but we have one more little tiny level left before we move on to the Dr. Wily stages. We're going to go and uh, have another little battle against the Brick Man. Gee, I wonder what weapon is going to be useful against them. Well, I'll try needles. 
Nope. Magnet does nothing. Neither does that. Can't even hit him, but yeah, I can't. I'm not gonna bother top spin. It doesn't hurt him. Neither does this. The only thing that hurts him is my original weapon. That's good you point that out. And, and here's another interesting tidbit to, to point out too. <coughs> this uh, little um, area that we're fighting in is not a separate stage. It's actually the very last part of um, the hard man level. 